everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so in this one we need to make one simple python and ordeal project that is detecting the color and also count that how many color is detected and based on that we are going to actually control the led that you see earlier so many of the subscriber actually requested me to make some awesome project using python and arduino so that i decided to make this out so hi and i was asleep at night um, suddenly this idea has actually come inside my head so that's why I decided to make this out and I am successfully making this out. So now I'm going to actually start the tutorial right now. So without any further ado, so let's get started. So if you wanted to support the knowledge doctor, you can buy me a coffee. Otherwise, at least subscribe our YouTube channels, like our videos, comment and share with your friends so link will be in the description you can also support me from here so in order to actually complete this project we need some requirements so first you need the python programming language that's in python should be installed on your system and also you need the open C library in python and also pipe Marta because we are going to connect the python code and so the arduino so no problem we actually discussing all the things in very detail so keep following me so now I'm going to actually create one uh, Python file here and also you can see here one video. This is my test video that I am going to test it out. So now I'm going to actually create one empty Python file. Let's say main.ui. Okay, so my Python file is right now created. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to first load this video from here. And after that, I am detecting the color. After detecting the color, I'm going to count that how many color is detected. And based on the detections, we are going to actually control the LED that you see earlier. That's it. If the red color is detected, we are going to actually on the red LED. If the green color is detected, we are going to on the green. And also, if the blue color is detected, we are going to actually on the blue LED. So for that, we need to also load our video. Okay. And also, you need to install the library that is required here. Okay. So for that, you need to open your command prompt and type here the library name. So we are actually using the OpenCV. So that's why pip install OpenCV. And also, we need Pyfirmata because you're going to connect the Python and also the Arduino. So that's why. And I also covered up uh, in, in, in this kind of installation in my previous video. So why not you're doing the finger counting based LED control. So in the Arduino, you can also follow that. So I'm going to click it to close that right now. And first, I'm going to actually load this test.mp4 file because this is our testing file. You can also do it in real time using your webcam. So now I first I'm going to import the CB2 because we need CB2 to actually load the video. And now I'm going to actually load the video. So for that, I'm going to actually create one instance for video capture. So for that, CB2 dot video capture, right? Video capture. And inside this, you can pass here 0, 1. So 0, 1 is nothing but my webcam. But in this case, I am not actually using my webcam. You can also use your webcam to detect any color also. But I'm going to just testing this video right now, okay? So for that, I'm going to give here the path of the video. So this test.mp4 in the same folder, that's why I'm going to give here the file name, okay? mp4 dot test.mp4, okay? And also assign into one variable that's called video, okay? So now we need to also read the frame from here is frame. So let's say while true, okay? And I'm going to actually reading the all frame from our video so for that we are going to actually read it and assign into two variable so let's say video dot read because video dot read actually give us two value first one is our frame and second one is our boolean value that's when our frame is correct or not that's when if your if your webcam is not stable that's when you get the red value as zero right if your webcam is stable you can get the value as one otherwise in the same cases when you actually load the video that's an mp4 file if the video is not that's the video file is not in your same file so definitely you get the zero here okay so now i'm going to show this so cb2 dot i am show and cb2 i am show it will take one window name as you can see on the suggestions window name and the one material so i'm going to give here window name same as it is that's a frame and also material let's give here frame now we need to give here one white key this is called keyboard binding functions so if I give here cb2 dot wet key, okay, and inside that I'm going to give here one that's my infinite time when I actually uh, press the key from the keyboard, so it will be gone because this is infinite loop. So you need to also back this out. So if k equal to ORD, this is keyboard binding function. It actually take the input from the keyboard, 
and also let's give here to back okay it's back now we are now finally you're going to actually release the video so for that you're going to use video dot release right and also you need to destroy all the windows okay I think uh, this is I think I need to make this okay so video dot release so if I save it and run the code from here or you can also run the code from the terminal so if I go in the terminal and type here python main.py run it and you can see your frame but this is so big so you can also resize them when I press Q from the keyboard it will go on. so now you're going to actually resize the frame so for that let's say frame equal to or you can also say this is image or this is called image like that you can actually give it here whatever you can okay let's make it as image right now okay image equal to you're going to resize them so resize the frame which one this image right and assign it to the same variable that's called image so let's say cb2 dot resize we're going to resize them and it will take first one the source so our source is nothing but our image and our d size that means uh, width and the height of the frame so let's make it the symbol so let's see uh, 640 and 480 okay so if i actually uh, make it close and if i run the code now just to see one error we got when the frame is gone okay you can see here this our frame our frame is working fine right now but when it will actually go to the last it will actually give us some error so let's see what error that it got and how can actually resolve them okay so you can see here we got on error because our frame is gone why because this video is right now end so you need to make it infinite that's been high and the video frame is stopped that's been high the video from count equal to the actual frame so we are going to actually repeat them again so that it should be infinite Let me again and again it actually repeat so how can you do that so first you need to count this frame this task.mp4 frame after that when the frame is read from a video after that then you're going to set the zero that's in from the beginning again right to the uh, 30 second later on because this is this video is actually land is 30 second after the 30 second it don't get any frame so that's why it give error so now you need to make it infinite so that it actually repeat again and again so for that what are you going to do first you are going to actually count this video frame that's been test.mp4 frame after that you also counting that also in the also counting that how many frame is actually gone so if it is the last frame then you're going to set it again to the zero so let's say video dot you're going to actually set or get first you're going to get after getting that you're going to after, then you can get set here right so cb2 dot so you're going to use uh cb2 dot we are using cap for capture then we are going to use prop and for the pause and the actual frame rate from the task dot mp4 if it is you equal equal is equal equal to our it is equal equal to our counting frame that is actually happening on here right so for that you're going to use cb2 dot so cap so prop and you're going to also count the frame right this is the frame count and if it equal equal that's mean we are in the last frame now so you can actually set it here so video dot set you're going to actually set it here which frame which frame you're going to set that the actual frame that's in from the beginning again so for that you're going to use cb2 dot cap so which frame we are going to actually write now on the first frame so for that cap dot prop okay right on the pause on the frame we are going to actually start from zero right so now if i run the file again from the terminal see python main.py now you can see here it actually repeating again and again if i go on the last frame right you can see a frame is actually opening okay if i go on the last frame see it will repeat again just a while see it's repeat again again red blue green it will repeating it again that's mean right now it is infinite if i click uh if i click here it's not actually gone because you need to actually give the q press from the keyboard then it will gone because we actually set up here this function from the keyboard binding function right so now what you're going to do we are going to now detect in the color and after detecting the color you're going to count then how many color is detected so for that we are going to actually converting our frame into ssb so that we can detecting our color so now what are you going to do we are going to actually make our frame to the bgr to ssb because 
open cv read the image into bgr format blue green and the red channel right so let's say ssb equal to cb2 dot cbt color right cbt color and it will take it will take first our image that's mean our source and one code so in cb2 there should be one code cb2 color bgr2 ssb okay so now we're converting our frame into ssb now we are going to actually detect the color based on some lower and upper bound value that's mean lower and upper bound ssb below so how can you get that we can actually get that using the track book and i also discuss about that how can you get this uh, ssb below from any color you can also follow my shape and color detection video from my youtube channel link will be in the description you can also get it from here so now we're going to pass here some lower and upper below code for three colors red green and the blue okay so i passed it out here and i'm going to format it out okay and also we need to import the numpy because we need also numpy here so for that i'm going to import numpy s and p cool see this is the lower green lower ssb and the upper green upper ssb value this is the range and based on the range you're going to create one max right after creating the max you're going to draw the contours after drawing the contours you're going to detect the color and after that you're going to count them right so now what you're going to do you are going to actually detect in the max right so now i'm going to paste here some code for max okay see this code is for max so cb2 dot in range that's mean this range if, if this ssb color value is ranged on this on this okay so you can do create one max after creating the max we can draw the contours we can also see the max here if i copy this out control c and control b control b control b and if i try to make it as let's say max number 01 and if i make it as max number 02 as 02 for the red color and if i make this max for let's say create the max for max for 03 okay so if i copy this out max one paste it on here and this one paste it on here and also this one right so if i now run the code here again go to the terminal okay if i go here just i'm going to use my keyboard shortcut to run the code and you can see here max zero see one important thing just a while this is our frame right this max one for green right now you can see here white this one for this one for red and the blue that's why right now max is uh you can see white and the black white and black because this is right now converting to binary case so now how you actually draw the contours here how you actually find the contours so that we can detect the color but right now we're also detecting the color right now you can see here this the red this filter is actually able to detect the red color and this filter is able to detect in the blue color and this filter is also able to detect in the green color so now we can actually draw the contours here okay so let's draw the contours so i'm going to paste here some code to detect in the contours so cb2 dot find contour in the cb2 we have one function that's called find contours and inside this you need to give here your marks so that it actually detecting the contours and cb2 dot external and you need to give here cb2 dot chain epochs none okay so we get the contour right now we need to also draw them okay you can also draw them or after that you can actually detecting or counting the area and based on the area you can also draw one rectangle right so now let's see how can you actually draw one rectangle here based on then the area so now i'm going to paste here another some code here okay we need to also format it out so what actually happening on this code it will actually iterate to all the control from here and it will actually counting the area that's how many area is actually detected and if the area is greater than 300 we are going to actually draw the bounding rectangle so for that we are going to actually pass here cb to the boundary rectangle and inside that we actually pass here the c and we got x coordinate y coordinate w and the white white and the height so that we can also draw one rectangle on here right this is really easy to detect the color in open cb so you can see so if i now run the code here and also comment out this line because we don't need to write now marks here right we can also show it okay so if i go here terminal 
and if I go and run here python main.py you can also run the code from here okay no problem see it detecting the color right now you can see a green green rectangle you can see detecting the color nicely right that's cool and you can see here it detecting green color right you can also make it black or white whatever you can okay you're detecting the color right now so now what you need to do you need to count them how many color is actually detected here so for that what I'm going to do we're going to actually take uh, three variable because we have uh, three color let's say C green we're going to make it as zero first now for the first time and we are going to make the red zero and also we have one blue so we actually initialize the value here right initially we have value as zero so how I'm actually counting the area we are going to actually we are going to actually counting the value with one okay that's been how the green color is detected we are not, we actually get the green value as one right so how you actually go uh, detecting the because this c anti one is for the green color right if i go here this is green color second one red and the blue okay so if we use this one c red so this is for control true so if I go here, you can see here C, C, uh, C, uh, C red plus one, it's already here. And if I copy this out and also paste it on here. So let's say make it as C blue. Okay. So now we are actually counting the frame. So if I try to print that how many color is detected, let's say first one, let's say green. Okay. So let's say green. We are going to actually give here we are trying to print it out that green color how many color is actually detected this means how many color is detected right now it's green color or the red color or, or or the blue color okay if i copy this out and paste it here again for three times so this is for red this is for blue okay you can also make it bold and this is for red this is for blue Okay, so now if I actually go on the terminal and if I run the code now, python main.py, see right now you can see here green 0, okay, and also red 0, okay. So why it actually happening? Because see one thing that is our value is counted, right, but but we don't get the value right now here, that's mean this one. So now if you try to print it after this loop, let's see, after this loop, so what the result that you get? So let's say python main.py. See, we got the value right now. So first time we don't get the value because this is not actually updating the value. So how a loop is go out, loop it is actually gone. We actually updating the value. You can see red one, uh, blue zero, blue zero, red one, blue zero, like that. We got the value. You can also try to print it out in the put text. Okay. We can also make it in the put text. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pass here the, some code for the put text. Okay. So this is for green. So you can actually actually count in the green one, and also see it. Also, you're trying to actually print it on on our frame. So what I'm going to do, you are going to actually take, uh, print it on the all frame. You need to also count them the green, red and the blue, right? So let's make it as red and also make it, let's say 70, let's see Y axis, 40 difference. And you also copy this out from here. Just copy this out. And also you're going to paste it on here outside the loop so that it's counted again because we need to also keep updating the value, right? So we need to also make it, let's make it bold, R, and this is our blue. So we need to also make it as so 40 different, so we, let's make it as 110, okay? So now we need to also change the value, so this should be the red color. So let's copy this out and paste it on here because I'm so lazy. Oh my god, because of laziness, we also get one error, okay? And also, we need to also change it here, the blue one, right? So let's make it out the blue and now we can also comment out this line because we do need that just go here or you can also use this let's use this right now 
and you can see here red one, blue one, green one. Okay, red and blue one, one one two, one one. Okay, see how it's actually working. One one. Wow. Right now you can see three is one. That's been three color is actually detected right now. Oh, that's great. So now what are gonna do? We are going to actually now controlling the LED using our Redmi. So for that, we need to also installing a library that's called PyFilmata. And also we're going to control them so that you're going to actually create one controller. So let's create one controller. .py. So now what you can do, you are going to actually import the PyFilmata. And also we need to also upload some code on our Arduino. Do. So now let's see the simulation that how can you connect the LED on our Arduino board. So I'm actually using one online simulator that is called Thinkercat. And you can see here I take one Arduino, one breadboard, and this is really simple to actually connecting them. And you can see we take, we take three LED, red, blue, and the green. And red LED, this is the anode part. And you can actually connect them on the positive eight number pin. And this is the ground. So we are going to actually connecting them on the ground. And you can see we're actually connecting the ground to the Arduino number board. You can see this is ground. And this is the blue. And blue anode is connected on the pin number nine on the Arduino board. And green one is connecting on the 10 number pin of the Arduino board. And similarly, you can see this is the cathode pin. And this is connected on the ground. This one ground, this one ground. And after that, you can actually create one short line to actually select all the ground from here. So this is the basic simulation of the Arduino board to actually need it while you are doing the project. Okay, so let's see that in the real time also. So this is our connection. We have three LED, red, green, and the blue. And this is connected on the eight, nine, and the 10 number pin on our Arduino. And also you can see here, this is the ground pin that is connected on our Arduino board to our breadboard. And in LED, there should be two paths, positive and the negative. So negative path is actually connected on the ground and the positive is connected on the our Arduino pin number 8, 9 and the 10. Okay, you can see here 8, 9 and 10. 8 for red, 9 for blue and 10 for our green. This is super easy and this is the ground and it is connected on our ground on our breadboard. So now what are you going to do? We need one Arduino ID to actually upload in the standard firmata and make sure that your Arduino should be connected. Right now you can see how my Arduino board is connected on the com number seven. If I go here tools, you can see here a port is selected come from a five and board is our Arduino. You know. So now we need to go on the file and go on the examples and go on the firmata and go on the standard firmata and open this out. I think it's already open in my case. So I'm going to click it to upload. So it will actually uploading this code on your Arduino board. Now we can actually make them serial to the Python code to the Arduino code. Then our Python code is actually go on the Arduino. Then we can easily control the LED using the uh, using the Python programming language. So now you can see here our uploading is right now done. So now what are going to do? We are going to actually go on our VS code. So now we're going to paste here some code. And this is really easy. Uh, first, we actually import the PyFreeMata and also initialize the comp board and in my case and my comport is com7 maybe in your case should be com5 or com8 something else and now we need to create the board so for that board equal to pyfirmata.arduino because we need to use an arduino and it will put a path here in the comport and also your pin number so as you can see earlier we actually connecting the led on our arduino inu and also our breadboard so using the eight number pin for the red nine number pin for the blue and 10 number of pin for the green so that we actually initialize here led number one led number two and led number three okay so now what are going to do we are going to actually uh, counting them the how many color is detected and uh, store into one dictionary if you actually following my uh, media pipe based led control so in this case we are not actually creating the dictionary this is really easy to do but this time it's really tough to actually make that so because we need get we need, we need to get all the value in the same time so for that you are going to actually using the dictionary okay so for that what i'm going to do i'm going to create one dictionary and i'm going to actually passing the value from 
here to here so that we can control them easily so now i'm going to create one dictionary and this dictionary have key and value so initially we are going to actually set our green value to zero okay so when you actually get the frame we are going to keep updating that how many value it actually calculated okay so now let's initialize it also for the red one let's initialize it zero and also let's do it for blue color okay okay so now what are gonna do we are going to now store the value of the green red and the blue so how you detect that so if I go down so this is our part for the green one so now you're going to assign the value that is count coming from our count so what I'm going to do you're going to actually go on our green so this our the green and you're going to assign this value right now we got the data that's been it is actually converting the 0 to 1 that's been count so you need to do the same thing for all the cases all the cases right so this for red copy this out paste it on here again and also do the same thing for blue so how you got the count value we are going to pass this on our controller board so that our arduino can easily get the value from here that's been how many colors detected and which one and which one so if i now trying to print it out if i trying to print it out from here let's say if i trying to print the data see if i trying to print the data now we actually got one dictionary just a while so python main dot py enter and you can see one dictionary red color is detected so that's why it's converted into one it keep updating you can see a blue it's right on one otherwise rest of them are zero see one okay green is detected and you can see your red and the blue red and blue is also detected so that's a one 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 so now we need to pass the value from our controller board so that our arduino can easily get that which one is right now active okay so now what are you going to do we are going to pass this value from here so for that we need to also initialize here one function so let's define one function let's say led let's say light i will take one value as a parameter so if this value so you can actually pass the value from here so for that you need to also let's make it fast right now pass we are going to actually import this controller and from controller you're going to be importing this led light because this is the method that actually needed to actually uh, to detect controlling the led right so from controller we are going to actually import which one we are going to import the led okay led light right this one right led light right so now when the count value is zero we are going to stop them right so when the count value is one we're going to make it bright so this is simple so if the value of green let me see green equal equal one so what are you going to do so first one is the, this board first one is value is nothing but for our pin number eight so this is our red this is our blue and this is our green so let's do it for first one green sorry red so high on the red value is equal to equal to one we are going to actually using the led number one that's mean actually making this led one should be one okay should be one then our red led should be on so if we are doing do the same thing for the rest of them if i do the same thing or the rest of them that's in for the green one let's say green if the green equal to equal one we are going to make the third number okay third number so if we do the same thing for the blue one so let's make it for the blue so let's say this is for c blue blue is nothing but for one so you can actually making the led number two should be on and if it is not happening that's mean if the count is zero so you can actually read them as a zero so zero zero and also this one zero and this one zero so right now it should be off if the count value is zero this should be off right so if i now run the code so before running the code so let's open my droid cam also so that you can actually see right 
So let's open my Droid Cam. So now let's run the code here from the go to the terminal and type here python main.py. Okay. And it will actually open in the frame just a while. Okay. But you need to also show that that our code is working fine here or not. So let's open my Droid Cam. See, it's not actually working, right? Why? Because we do one mistake. We are not actually calling this function from here. That's why it's not actually working. So you need to also call them, right? So let's minimize it right now. So you need to call them. This LED, this LED light also, we need to call them. Okay? So for they need to go on here, and we are going to actually pass the LED light to the our data. Right, this is our data. Now it actually get the value from here. Now if I run the code now, the terminal and type here python main.py and it will running just a while. So now if I open my droid cam. So if I go on the full screen mode. You can see right now it's actually working. How in the green color is detected, it actually detecting uh red mean green LED should be on. And how in detected the red and the blue and the red and the blue LED should be on. And you can see this is really working fine now. See how cool it is. Green and also the blue. Red, green, blue. That means three is on now, right now. Okay. My green LED is now quite not bright, so that's why you can uh, you cannot see in the bright. But it's working fine. Red, red LED on. Blue, blue LED on. And now it's for time for the green. Green LED is right now on. Okay. See, that's really working fine. See, this one red and the blue is on. And also this one. And for another, this one. This one really working fine. You can also test it out using real time. You can just in it actually give your instead of using test.mp4 you can actually using the zero okay so this is the tutorial hope you will enjoy this tutorial and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss any update and i'll be back with the next tutorial so till then take care and bye bye